surprising my girlfriend, Raven Harris. She's a turf host here. She doesn't know I'm here. She's like not aware at all. So hopefully it goes good. Hey fans, at, at Maryland Athletics, our turf hosts are oftentimes the first face that our fans see when arriving at our events. At this time, we'd like to welcome turf host Raven Harris to the court where she is being recognized for her exemplary customer service at a recent women's basketball game. She was nominated for being a friendly face to all fans entering the arena and providing help to make fans' experiences a memorable one. Presenting a ball to Raven is Deputy Athletic Director Colleen Sorum. We'd like to wish a warm welcome home to senior airman Adrian Robinson, who just returned from a six month deployment in Kuwait earlier today. Thank you, Adrian, for your service. This work to perfection for you? Oh, it's more than I can. Words can't describe it right now. Can't stop smiling on this for the next six months. This seeing her face again is like surreal to me. Long, long six months. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I can't really me. speak. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting him till tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I haven't talked to him since, I don't know, yesterday evening. <laughs> I was worried, very worried. So I'm happy he's home. <laughs> it's been a long six months. What last year was isn't what this year is. What today looks like may not be what tomorrow looks like. Our intensity has got to be a lot greater. We've got to defend, rebound, and run. Last day of January, you know, great job. Man, that was like the fastest shooter I think we've, we've had. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the people have yeah. 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 All right, great job. Uh, you know, uh, you're ready to go. What are our non negotiables? There you go. There you go. All right. Again, when, when we talk about in transition, don't allow them to set up their defense, whether that's man, whether that's zone tonight. We are running so hard. We are kicking ahead. We're being aggressive in our transition. Don't allow them to get their set D. No life on the boards. They are a very good offensive rebounding team. All right. I think we've taken a another step forward with our connects to our box outs. All right. Now we added another layer. We did it against IU. Now this is our second game in a row. Connect to go get a box out. All right. Any questions? When you play basketball, last time I checked, I mean, you, you don't do it all by yourself. You don't. You don't. It takes truly a team to be able to do all the millions of great things that we're trying to accomplish on the basketball court. And that's where you see that contagious energy of a team that isn't worried about, yeah, yeah, we're all going to make plays, but those plays don't come unassisted. They don't happen by itself. They happen because of the people in this locker room making the plays. So tonight is all about we, and I want to see us recognizing we of all the great plays that we make tonight. Bree's leadership there at the end of the third quarter uh, was a big reason why we were able to push the lead out. I mean, um, you, you could feel her presence all over the court and with the big block, uh, the rebound, she was uh, aggressive, uh, running the floor hard, and just um, continuing to make play after play for us. You know, the ownership that you saw out of Bree, your, your only senior, to um, understand and recognize, you know, that, that we needed plays to be made. And, uh, you know, again, I thought her, her leadership, what you need from a senior, was uh, sensational and gave us a huge boost. Next. I loved our response at the end of the game. I mean, that's who we are. And 
uh, being happy for each other's success and just making plays for one another and uh, to be able to see you know us get a shot for Sarah Myers and then you know play for Sarah V and then Sarah V makes a pass for for Olivia and um, you know that that's the way that that we love to play is being connected as a team together. You, you locked in the, in the second half and, and you, you run away with it. So understanding, I mean, man, what would that have looked like if we would have put back-to-back -back halves, all right? But proud of your response, all right? A phenomenal job uh, when you talk about your, your response and being aggressive in the second half. Yeah, you know, it was uh, really special to be able to have Liz uh, come back. She was, uh, you know, our first walk-on, uh, you know, under my tenure that came in that earned a scholarship. Our Terry fans, join us in welcoming tonight's honorary captain from the class of 2006, Liz Gilchrist. Liz came to Maryland in 2004 after earning a physics degree from Washington College. She saw action in 12 games in the 2005 season when the Turks went 22 and 10 and finished number 24 in the country. This is the first time I was able to, to see her daughter in person. Uh, you know, we do a great job of staying in touch with each other and we've uh, stayed connected um, through all these years. So uh, it's just really awesome to be able to see, uh, come full picture to be able to see her now, uh, Liz as a mom and uh, just this beautiful daughter and Emily and being able to spend the day together. sad that you have to go back to Georgia because you need to come more often, yeah. right? Yeah. You need to come more often. Yes. One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. Sandwich hug. Sandwich hug. Oh, sandwich hug. Oh, I love sandwich hug. Sandwich hug. Yes, sandwich hugs are the well, best. Well, she's going to miss you. You got a new big fan. Yes. You know what? Sometime we'll have to FaceTime. Your mom will have to, oh, we'll, we'll set a time and we'll FaceTime, oh, okay? Oh, girl power. Girl power. Girl power. Yes. At the University of Maryland, we believe that education has the extraordinary power to improve the life of every person on earth. We are confronting the most pressing challenges of our time, vigorously pursuing the discovery of new knowledge, integrating art and science, and developing the next generation of global citizens. We are the University of Maryland, and that is our fearless idea.
used to tell me that I couldn't. That's my motivation. Yeah, my motivation. My, my motivation. People talking, but you not up in the conversation. They all wanting me to stop. That's my motivation. Yeah, my motivation. Yeah, my motivation. Yeah, my motivation. Maryland, the number 10 team in the country, is led by a loaded lineup of McDonald's All-Americans, College All-Americans, and we are ready to go from inside the State Farm Center. It's Maryland versus Illinois tonight on BTN. Tom Brady last night. The GOAT, right? Six Super Bowl championships. Six. All right, and I think one of the coolest things when you heard, you know, all over the, uh, the news today, all over Sports Center, they talked about when, when they described Tom Brady, they talked about nobody works harder, nobody prepares harder, nobody competes harder. That's why he's the best that's ever come through in his, in his position. That's how you separate, right? Everything we shared with you today, every message we keep sharing with you, there is no shortcut for hard work. There isn't. I wish I could say that you go, go on the couch and, and eat your marshmallows and, and your chocolate candy bars. Doesn't work that way, right? Nobody can work harder than you. Nobody can, pre can prepare harder than you. And nobody can compete harder than you. Our freshmen Shakira and Taylor were sensational. You know, I thought they were aggressive from the tip. I mean, Shakira inside, uh, they had no answer for her on both ends of the floor. Defensively, she held it down for us, uh, blocking shots, rebounding, and offensively, uh, really aggressive. You, you might look at this and say, oh, wow, Marilyn, holy smokes, I have to stop my thoughts. That was a ferocious block. Yeah, I'm totally distracted by that block, just totally distracted. I thought Taylor allowed the game, uh, made great reads and passes and assists and then uh, it opened up for her after they were uh, having to defend inside out uh, being able to shoot the three. Definitely using our height um, knowing we had that advantage inside and being able to attack them and get them hopefully in foul trouble and as you can see it paid off pretty well. I know we're going to be a really good team. This, this, this is how I know we'll, when, when we're going to finally be there. When we care as much about our defense as we care about our offense. When you focus on your defense, then, then the basket becomes as big as, like, I, I'm really proud of the assist to turnover ratio. Gosh, I, I thought the ball movement today was, was one of the best we've had. 18 assists, 9 turnovers. That, that's phenomenal. I have some coach really told us that we need to focus more on defense and, you know, transition over to offense. So nobody really stepped up. So I was trying to, you know, get everybody hyped up and hopefully get some stops. The, the defense between 12 on 35 uh, defensively tonight, our lockdown, Shakira Austin. Yeah. And I liked the second. How was uh, last night? You get a good night of sleep? Yes. Uh, awesome. Ready to go? So it started with uh, the battle uh, Kay Young was former uh, head coach at NC State. Uh, her sister was uh, actually the athletic director here at Maryland, Debbie Yao, who hired me. A little fun fact. Um, but her sister uh, battled through cancer and obviously lost her fight. And so this month in women's basketball is a big awareness, uh, you know, that it's been a bigger cause um, with, with her kind of leading the charge. So I'm going to share a little bit of a, a video with you. But last November, this legendary coach was diagnosed with cancer for the third time. I'm battling an opponent, the greatest opponent, the greatest foe that I've battled, the home court of my arch rival, 
is nothing in comparison to this. She'd beaten this foe years ago. This time, however, the treatment took a greater toll. She would take an indefinite leave of absence. I think it really put into perspective of what people with cancer are going through and just knowing to not just take advantage of every day and to really capitalize on what we're given. Her courageous battle has inspired many. But of all the accolades she received, the greatest tribute, the one that embodied everything KL stood for, would come from her team. And might be a team of destiny. Um, she actually showed it to us last year, so that was the first time I had seen it, but yeah, it still brings tears to my eyes. She was, uh, you know, when, when I think about coming late, like an incredibly strong woman. You know, to, to, um, so many things to be able to share, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, her story and, um, I mean, so many lines and, and obviously great uh, quotes of, of inspiration I think we all can, can take from. Um, so I wanted to be able to share that with you and obviously, uh, you know, so we have a greater understanding with a lot of these pink games that uh, we're playing tonight and, and Rutgers and Iowa will all be pink games in kind of this month so, so you have an understanding, but um, just, you know, to also like have the background right? Um, because we've all been impacted uh, in so many different ways. For us at Maryland, uh, we, we love February because for us with seven games remaining, it's the last piece for us uh, to be able to get ready for March, all right? So uh, we know uh, and obviously understand these seven games left, uh, you know, this is a, the strong push to, to the finish line to, to be ready for, for March. Uh, so I wanted to share with you, has anyone, um, Ever been to the fair? Have you ever seen one of those whack-a-moles? Yeah, you ever seen that? Know. What's a whack-a-mole? What's what's a whack-a-mole? The mole that comes in and holds on hips. And you just like kind of like yeah. whack the mole, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah so I mean, you, you take care of business, right? <laughs> so I kind of feel like uh, you know we we gotta keep things fresh here, right? In February, and uh, so you know when when you talk about February, right? I think it's important for us to, as we work hard that we're gonna have. At the University of Maryland, we believe that education has the extraordinary power to improve the life of every person on earth. We are confronting the most pressing challenges of our time, vigorously pursuing the discovery of new knowledge, integrating art and science, and developing the next generation of global citizens. We are the University of Maryland, and that is our fearless idea. You know, the other day I was taking uh, my boys to school and I may or may not have been a little impatient uh, taking them to school because we may or may not have been maybe running a little late. All right, so, so we start driving and all of a sudden we get stuck behind this yellow school bus. When we're sitting there waiting as the stop signs are out, this ramp comes out of the school bus. And all of a sudden we look over to the right in this home and out in a wheelchair comes a boy about the same age as Marcus and Tyler. So we took that time when we had that moment which stopped us in our tracks from being so hurried. And we took that time and we sat and we reflected that morning of how 
appreciative we are to be able to have our health, right? We get to run and play and, 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 and do all these things at their age that sometimes maybe we take for granted, right? And we talked about in before shoot around today, right? What this game means to all of us. We've all had some sort of, um, you know, someone we know, someone who's been impacted and why we're playing this game today and why we have the pink game. I mean, let's talk about your energy and your effort on the defensive end, right? It's there. I mean, you are like flustering them. They are frustrated. I mean, it putting back-to-back -back defensive efforts, phenomenal job. So first 20 minutes, now we got 20 more great minutes where we've got to keep that energy on the defensive end, all right? Very fun. Uh, we we weren't. I mean, we were expect. We knew that the pinata was coming, but we weren't expecting the coaches to come in like that. So yeah, it was kind of cool. Um, well, we know it's going to be a very tough environment, so we really got to come out to play, bring our energy, and yeah, just go after it. It's great when you can come to the circle and know you guys that uh, we're the most prepared team ready to go. All right, so uh, you know, excited about uh, another great opportunity that we get in front of us. That quote that I kind of live by is others can stop you temporarily, but only you can do it permanently. And I know with, with, with Rutgers, right, it, it, it's a mentality of our response. Right? If you get knocked down in life, and anything in life, if you get knocked down, it's all about what is your response going to be? What is your response going to be? We have to win this by one point. I think it's going to be a heck of a lot more than one point today. But understand, it is a mentality of what we have to go into, which we are going to be spectacular. It's a mentality that we go and we make a ton of great plays today for each other. Let's go. Let's go. Say it set the tone for the whole game. It set us up for every other quarter after that, getting steal after steal after steal after rebound, put it back, everything that we wanted, we got. We were so locked in in the first quarter. 
it was unreal. Then the second quarter, we got a little lead. We, did, we, we got a little tired. We took some possessions off. Again, I, I'm going to challenge you. How bad do you want this game? You are the better team. You are the better team, but it is going to take a 40-minute game of domination. Man, I, I, I can feel a, as a team between the, the energy on the bench, the, the energy on the court, I mean, phenomenal toughness, right? You've given them no life. it's huge because they beat us early on in the season so it was kind of like that revenge that that game that we needed back and uh to beat them at their home court their first loss it was amazing uh, we shown what we're capable of doing now it's just stacking those days and staying consistent okay staying consistent pushing each other making each other better because the who's the biggest opponent uh -huh. us all right keep pushing i thought uh i mean your toughness uh, your mentality i mean total domination total domination and again just just understanding i mean Game plan, different games. Uh, you know, I, I thought uh, vets, you really led us today. It was a collective effort all around. Um, everybody had everybody's back. We were all communicating. We were one unit the whole game, so it really helped us. Yeah. You have the communication on the bench uh, within the team, holding them to 48 points. Team lockdown! It's kind of a surreal feeling because last year I didn't even get to come. I was kind of watching from uh, at home, but now to be here with the team and everybody and especially get this great win it just felt like amazing the last time we get to bring Bree back home close to home uh to be able to come get this win for you am i right so uh, make, makes it fun everything that uh blair that you've been through to be able to kind of have a homecoming like this today um all well worth it after every win now we're doing this like terra pinata thing where you whack the, the, out of a pinata that has the uh, logo of um, the other team and you just kind of go at it and then it breaks open and it's <laughs>